Hello lovelies, it's Sarcasm the Sickness, and welcome back for another episode of Skill Link in today's video thing. I am drawing um, a commission piece for Juancito Marvel. Thank you Juan so much for, for commissioning me and stuff, he's a really cool guy, um, big supporter. And um, on his channel, which will be in the description below along with his Twitter, uh, he has VGC Showdown Battles as well as regular Wi-Fi battles and has recently gotten his capture card if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he also has a VGC, well, VGC team building series, I'm sorry, I'm tripping over my words still. Um, and I really hope to see him continue uploading soon. Now before I get started talking about, well, today's topic, I suppose, um, <clears throat> you may have noticed already that my voice is not completely, like, recovered, so I've kind of got this weird raspy quality to it, so I hope you'll forgive me for that. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to fight through it, because at this point I don't want to, I don't want to miss any more upload days, I really don't. Um, because if you guys didn't notice, uh, I had, uh, 1.4k before starting Pack South, and I did get over 100 subs, during the, yeah, during the, um, during Pack South, so I really do want to kick back up into uploading and, you know, give all of you new people a reason to stay. Um, thank you so much for, you know, choosing to support me, and I hope I impress you, or, you know, don't disappoint you at the very least. <laughs> Alright, um, now in, s in, on that note, I suppose, I do want to talk about Pack South. Because um, I had a I had a skill link before Pack South, and I had all the vlogs, so I do want to have um, this basically be like the the final kind of um, talking about packs and Pack South and all that. Or I mean, obviously I'll be talking about Pack East once I go there, which by the way we are working our hardest to get to. Um, but um, yeah, for now I do want to I, I do want to kind of like wrap up this whole Pack South thing with you know just some closing thoughts on it, I suppose. Um, first of all, I do want to say that I had a blast. I had a really amazing time and met some really amazing people, both, you know, both people from the community and, you know, and supporters and, and, and I, I met a few lovelies and that was such a big deal to me. It really was. Thank you guys for coming out. Um, <clears throat> I met a few people, you know, that were, you know, that I didn't expect to meet. Like, I met Markiplier and that was a really big deal. It was really cool. Um, and, you know, I, I hung out with a lot of different people, and it was, it was really awesome. Um, so I guess, as I'm talking about this, you're going to have to understand that this is going to be from the perspective of somebody who did have, you know, the, the opportunity to spend extended periods of time with, you know, these other Poketubers and stuff. So, um, of course, everybody's experience is going to be different, but um, I suppose this is, this is kind of a little insight into mine. Um, I got to, obviously I got to hang out with, hang out with a lot of different people. Um, the first night was very interesting, or first night, I mean, like, Thursday night, because, um, we were all, like, all of us, all the people who I ended up hanging out with throughout the week were shoved into this one tiny room, and we were just so excited and just so happy to see each other, and, like, we were, like, screaming and shouting and just, like, all kinds of hugs, hugs everywhere, and... You know, we're all like, you know, like just just having fun and making fun of each other and just teasing and just and laughing and joking. It was so great. It was such a great time. It was really great to see everybody, and we were so noisy. I think especially when we decided to, that all of us at the same time should should shout "Sacred, I love your videos," um, that we actually got kicked out of the room. Uh, security came up and told us to be quiet and that you know there were too many people in the room. So we all kind of moved down to the lobby and decided to make noise there. So that was fun. Um, we actually spent a lot of time down in the hotel lobby for some reason. It just happened to be like, it just happened to be like the meetup spot, and then also like the I don't know what we should do right now spot. So we spent a lot of time in there. Um, honestly, there was, what is it? There was just, there was just a lot to do. There was a lot to do. The expo floor was really neat. Um, I didn't really spend as much time down there as I might have liked to, but. In all honesty, I'm not really too upset about that because I did get to spend a lot of time with, you know, with the people there, and on, and that was really like the biggest thing for me. The biggest thing was going there to see, you know, these friends that I haven't seen in months, and you know, people that I've talked to online that I haven't been able to see like ever, you know, and forming new friendships, for, forming new bonds, and it, 
And that's exactly what happened, and it was such a big deal. I met people there that I wasn't expecting to. I met um, I met Blah Blah LPs, and he's a really cool guy. I didn't expect to meet him. I met Rakib, and he's really cool. There was just like, oh, I met Mulvone. That was really awesome. There was just a lot of really cool guys. Hayden made him, you know, that like I wasn't. I wasn't expecting to come there and see, you know, like, I expected to come there and see, you know, generally, like, I suppose, like, our side of the community, you know, Nappy Shady, um, Twit and Kristen, you know, like, the, like, the kind of, like, the Lumio Station and Co. sort of, um, sort of side of the community, and I met a lot of different people from a lot of different, I guess, different sections of the community, and that was really, really interesting, and honestly, like, it, it made me feel like... It made me feel a little bit more connected, I suppose, with everything, and gave me an idea of, you know, what everybody else is doing out there, because obviously I am very much, you know, embedded in the, in the kind of Lumio Station side of it, or section of it, if you want to call it that. Obviously not everybody in the Lumio Station side is actually in Lumio Station, but, you know, basically all the people that talk to them and that kind of crowd. Um, and, you know, it was really great to just to just experience, you know, a different portion of it. People that I've never talked to before. And, you know, probably never would have talked to if it weren't for Pack South and seeing everybody there and, you know, and, and spent having people introduce me, hey, this is Sarcasm and Sickness, you know, Tara, she's got her own channel, you should check it out, here's a business card. Um, speaking of which, I did hand out a pretty decent amount of business cards, which is really cool. Um, and if you go to PAX East, you could probably get one, hopefully. We're, we're really, we, like I said, we really are trying our best to get there. Um, so um so yeah it was it was really great to meet all these different people um i think one of my favorite days was saturday it's because i did get to spend see i didn't really spend a lot of time on the expo floor or anything but the whole day was just packed full of stuff um like on friday we spent a pretty decent amount of time kind of like trying to figure out what to do and it kind of bothered me because i wasn't i'm i guess like i knew that there were so many interesting and exciting things to do out there and I didn't want to, like, just be stagnant. And, like, you know, I'm not always the most active person. I can be pretty lazy sometimes. But just me having, like, this sense of adventure and knowing, like, there is so much we could be doing. We could go back to the expo floor. We could go back to the handheld lodge. We could do this. We could do that. And, like, everybody kind of not knowing what to do. Um, it kind of bothered me. It kind of bothered me. And, and Pedro, actually. And, you know, and, and on Saturday, we made a decision. You know what? Even if nobody else knows what to do, we're going to find something to do, and we're going to do it. And if they want to come with us, that's fine. And if they don't, then that's fine as well, because, you know, they can chill if they, if they want to, and that's perfectly okay. So Saturday, we spent a lot of time doing a lot of different things, and that was really wonderful. And, um, I believe... Yeah, I believe Saturday was um, was Nate's panel, which was really cool. It was really cool to be there. Um, it was it was pretty packed, and that was awesome to see. That was really awesome to see. Um, let's see. We um, that's when Pedro and I and a couple friends we went and bought um, Super Fight, which was that awesome card game we were playing. And I wish I could share it with you guys. It's such a good game. Um, I honestly think that it's better than Cards Against Humanity. I think it does better at icebreaking, whereas Cards Against Humanity, it's a lot easier to play if you actually already know the sense of humor of the people around you. We're, and Super Fight kind of like lets you know the sense of humor of the people around you. And I, I, I enjoy that a lot. It made it a really good icebreaking game for us. Um, for, all, for a lot of us who haven't really you know talked to each other that much outside of you know, sometimes Skype and YouTube and whatever. So it was a really big deal to have that game and to be able to just like, you know, use it to kind of open up new doorways. Speaking of which, we did play with um, with Liz and Jay, JYT Gamer and um, Kickin' Potatoes. And like that, I think, I do think that game kind of helped us get closer to each other a little bit. Um, Cause we did go out to dinner together afterwards and with a bunch of other people, we brought um, a couple a couple supporters, a couple new lovelies with us, and that was wonderful. It was really, if you guys are watching this, it was really great to spend that time with you. It really, really was. I think, I don't know, I really liked that we were able to do that, that we were able to include a few other people that weren't, you know, part of our immediate group, and just be like, hey, I think you're cool. Come with us, you know, come with us to dinner, come with us to, to this, we're just gonna go and chill. And I think that was really great that, you know, that we were able to open up that opportunity with them, which unfortunately wouldn't have been able to happen with a bigger group, 
because um, honestly our group was just like just big enough that we were only just able to kind of fit into the restaurant so it was a really big deal that we were that we were able to do that and and share that with some other people um, so like that double date kind of thing was really nice and um, I don't know just in general I think all of it just all of Pack South really helped me feel like this really is a community and it really is a family and you know we really are there to back each other up and to and to support each other and and like nobody nobody gave me funny looks nobody gave me like you know like oh you're not like a real youtuber you're not really part of this group or whatever you know like everybody was so welcoming of me and all those fears that i had at the beginning you know the ones that i talked about in my previous um skilling none of those even mattered because everybody was genuinely happy to see me and i was happy to see them of course and it was just such a big deal for everybody to be so open with me and so like willing to to just chill with me and stuff and and I don't know I just I literally cried when most of these people had to go so <laughs> so it was a really big deal and honestly to you guys I really hope that you guys can go to one of these events someday because it is really just an amazing experience um I guess in the comment section below let me know um I don't know let me know what your favorite part of the vlogs were, I guess? I don't know, there was some pretty cool stuff that, that I was able to show you guys, and I'm glad for that. Um, if you haven't already, please leave a like on this video. If you leave a like, it will help my voice get better, <laughs> I hope. Um, and if you are new to the channel and you're just kind of like perusing or whatever, check out some of my other stuff and maybe subscribe, because I would love to have you. So, I don't know, bye!